it is known. And thanks so much for joining us tonight right here at 5 o'clock. The threat of wildfires is set to ramp up tomorrow and it could get bad in parts of the state. But it's a problem Oklahoma City fire crews have already been dealing with. They say so far this year they responded to nearly 50 grass fires. News 9's Chris Yu shows us how we can protect our home. Behind me is scorched earth, the aftermath of a grass fire here in OKC. What was really scary about that fire was it was right across the road from a house. Fortunately, the homeowner says he saw that fire just in time. That homeowner is Dale Phillips, who lives on Hefner Road. I just getting ready to pull out of that, the big garage coming out through here. And so I just looked out this way and saw the, uh, the grass burning. The fire was so intense, flames shot up dozens of feet into the air. And the blaze was just dozens of feet from Phillips' property. The wind was blowing really good to the north, so I felt pretty safe. If it had been blowing the other way, uh, I would have been getting water hoses out. Instead, he called 911. It scared me to death, yes. I, I did think of that. I thank the Lord that I uh, was still here when it started. The Oklahoma City Fire Department says sparks that resulted from a truck's blown tire caused this fire on Monday. It was just one of nearly 50 grass fires the department has responded to since the start of the new year. The, the low humidity, the increasing winds, warm, warm days. District Chief Scott Douglas says when conditions are this susceptible to fire, there are things you can do to protect your home. Within 30 feet of your house, you want to eliminate as many fuel sources as possible. So we see a lot of people that store firewood or you have a dog house or some storage around close to your house. Uh, you want to eliminate the, all this away from your home. What that happens is it, it heightens these flames and these flames can then get into the eve of your house. Fortunately, Phillip's home was undamaged. I'm grateful that uh, I saw it that quick. In Oklahoma City, Chris Hugh, Oklahoma's own News 9.